All right, y'all, so peep this. On April 18th, Black Boy JB sent some unsolicited shots in takashi 69s direction via Twitter to remind everyone about Takashi's reputation. In the post, the Look Alive rapper says 6ix9ine can change his name to 96. He's still snitched. Although Black Boy's words might be damning for some people, 6ix9ine has seemingly embraced the status as a snitch. On April 9th, Takashi changed his Instagram profile picture to a cartoon of himself sitting in a rat trap eating a piece of cheese and changed his bio to say, why everybody calling me a snitch? I'm missing something? To which his former friend DJ Academic said, DJ, do y'all think it's funny or whack that he's making light of snitching? Or is he playing his cards right for the comeback? 6 9 and other 9 Trey gangster bloods that were part of his crew were arrested for racketeering in November 2018. Since the rapper has turned state's witness against the former associates in exchange for a reduced sentence, Takashi ended up testifying against 9 Trey members Al Jamiah Nuke Mack and Anthony Harv Ellison in court and his testimony sent them both to prison. Along with Mack and Ellison, Takashi's former manager Kafano Shadi Jordan was sentenced to 15 years to life in prison in the federal racketeering case that ultimately brought down the nine trade bloods Takashi was associated with. Earlier this month, after increased outbreaks of COVID-19 in New York's prison system, Takashi was granted a compassionate release due to his asthma putting him at higher risk for contracting the virus. Judge Paul Engelmeyer allowed Takashi to serve the remainder of his sentence in the comfort of his home on supervised release. However, during his first four months, he's required to wear a GPS monitor and must remain at a pre-approved address. Takashi is planning on making a comeback in 2020 with the planned release of two new albums, one in English and one in Spanish, according to his attorney Don Florio. While in prison, Takashi secured a two-album contract with record label 10K Projects. Although there's clearly a debate within hip-hop about whether someone with the snitch label should get to have a platform and whether Takashi should continue to have a place in the culture. And Black Boy JB clearly made his feelings known about the debate. The Memphis rapper is no stranger to legal problems himself. Back in February of 2019, the Shelby County, Tennessee Sheriff's Department had a warrant for Black Boy's arrest. They posted on their social media pages saying, SCSO needs help in locating James Baker, 22, better known as Black Boy JB. Baker is wanted for possession of drugs and drug paraphernalia, a convicted felon in possession of a handgun and for theft of property. Anyone with tips regarding Baker's location is asked to contact law enforcement. On February 28th, 2019, Black Boy was arrested on those charges. And on May 3rd, 2019, charged with being a convicted felon in possession of a handgun, speeding, possession of drug paraphernalia and possession of controlled substance marijuana. But unlike Takashi's situation, which was a federal racketeering case, Black Boy was able to beat his charges without testifying against anyone, and he continues to be a free man. Since May of 2019, he has had no reported situations with the law. So what do you guys think? Is Black Boy right? Should hip hop cut all ties with Takashi? Or should the culture give him a pass and let him back in? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all our new videos. And as always, keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.